Hello and welcome to the Stage Debut Awards, where the very best new talent from the theatre world is being recognised here tonight. Walking this red carpet will be the likes of Adrienne Warren, who of course stars in Tina. We've got the musical theatre royalty, including Ruthie Henshaw and Jodie Prenger here as well. To qualify, nominees had to make their stage debut between the 1st of August 2017 and the 31st of July 2018. <laughs> Kush, how are you feeling? I'm feeling a bit nervous, actually, because I'm used to pretending to be other people, not myself. Then I'm not sure how this is going to go down, but I'm, I think it'll be good. I'm excited. It's my birthday. I was about to say a very happy birthday. Thank you very much. What a way to spend it, hey? Well, I always prefer to work. On, I don't know about you, but I prefer to work on my birthday than be unemployed on my birthday, if that makes sense. We're just in a business where like it's better to be working at all times. So um, yeah, I'm, I'm excited. And you are working very hard at the moment. Working. Tell us about this project, it's just brilliant. It's amazing, I'm doing The Good Fight over in New York. We start back in two weeks time. So it'll be back on Channel 4, I think in the spring. Um, and I'm um, an American lawyer in an American courtroom and I get to strut around in amazing clothes and I get to tell the judge objection all day long. And um, yeah, it's basically my dream job, it's great. It's like getting to be a lawyer without having to do law. It's great. Have you taken in much Broadway? I have actually, yeah, I've seen a lot of stuff. I was just actually saying to one of the performers today that I saw her in Hamilton here when I got back, and I've actually seen it three times in the States, once the, in the original at the public and then twice more on Broadway. And I thought the British cast really like gave them a run for their money when I saw them. Yeah, it's really good. Um, but no, yeah, I get to see as much theatre as I can, really. I love being there. How important is tonight to recognise new talent? Do you know, it really is. I was actually saying before, our theatres and our TVs are flooded with names we know and recognise, but we must never lose sight of the bubbling great talent that is kind of... I mean, these people tonight are probably going to be the reason why I keep up my Netflix. Do you know what it is, that thing, isn't it? And it's great to celebrate that. We can never forget it because it's, it's, what, it's what's made our theatre great for years and years. And then the people are going to kick you out of a job. Well, yeah, they can, but if they get too big-headed and diva, I'll take the trophy off them. So there you go. The trophy, they call it trophy. The reward. <laughs> I'm showing my age. The stage debut trophies. The stage debut trophy. I will take it off you right there and there. Here we are again, a familiar setting. Last year you had a wonderful award in your hand and now you're here to perform at the awards. How does it feel? What a year. Well, I know. It's so funny. It's like last year was a different kind of nervousness. You know, I'm still feeling nervous now, but it's like, you know, before it was like, oh God, you know, what's going to happen? It's drenched and pumping. And now I'm like, I've got to lay off the drink because I'm <laughs> performing last. So <laughs> really got to watch it before the end. But I'm so excited to be back here. It's just amazing. I can't wait to see the talent coming up. I think it's going to be incredible. And I just hope the debut awards continues to go again and again and again. It's just so important and so brilliant. And what can we expect from your performance? tonight oh well I'm gonna be singing I'm here from the color purple so I'm very excited it's a big song it's a great song and I hope you guys enjoy it joined by the lovely Adrienne Warren hello hello how are you I'm great thank you how are you very good looking forward to tonight a night that could see you win an award hey it's exciting it is exciting but Brian Cranston is definitely nominated too and I'm I'm, over him. I'm still afraid of him after Breaking Bad <laughs> In terms of Tina, talk us through this musical. It's just brilliant, isn't it? It's one of the most incredible stories. Her story is one that we can all learn from. She's perseverance personified. Her resilience is unbelievable. And I'm so lucky to get to tell the story six times a week. the winner of the Encore Radio Award, Best Actor in a Musical, Louis. We spoke to you beforehand. How does it feel to have it in your hands? I'm ecstatic. I think I'm still shaking, so I'm probably struggling to hold this up right now. <laughs> um, yeah, I'm blown away and just, I can't believe that it's happened. I'm so buzzed that to be able to experience this feeling right now. What were you doing 12 months ago? 12 months ago, I was in my college, training hard, working my ass off, and I didn't, in a million years thing that I'd be doing what I'm doing right now at all. Take us back to Oklahoma then uh, and what it meant to be a part of that. Oklahoma was an incredible show. It's one of my it was one of my dream shows, so 
ticked that off the bucket list straight away and it was one of my dream parts so I just relished in every single moment I could. The cast were incredible, they were just so supportive, they believed in me and they constantly, they gave me, I had laughter, I had love for all of them and they were just a joy to be part of. What have you learned? Because obviously it's all good doing all the college work and getting to this point, but what do you actually learn from being involved professionally? Yeah, on the job, I learned mainly to believe in myself and commit to whatever I'm conveying, do not shy away, and don't feel apologize for what I'm doing and to understand that there's a reason why I'm doing what I'm doing and I'm here for a reason because everything has led up to it. And enjoy it, that's what it's about. If I'm enjoying it, the audience can probably tell that I'm enjoying it. What was it like, first night of Oklahoma? How did you feel? The first night, I was absolutely cacking my pants. I was so nervous, but as soon as I got on the stage and those first show nerves were gone, and so once you've settled into the show, you're in your character, you can't, you don't have time to think about the nervous, the nerves. Um, I just, I loved it. It was incredible, and it was, it's a feeling I'll never, ever forget. Louis, we can't wait to see your career going forward. Congratulations, go and enjoy your night. Thank you for sponsoring this award. <laughs> Amara, congratulations. Best actress in the musical, how do you feel? Um, I'm shaking. I, I just really didn't expect it, but I'm really, really, really excited. And when you think about your West End debut to be Les Miserables, one of the most famous musicals in the world, what did it feel like when you first got the part? It was amazing. I cried non-stop for like 10 minutes because I was just completely blown away. Um, I love the show and I love the role and I love everything about it, so it's just brilliant. And in terms of the songs in Les Miserables, whether it's one that you sing or many of the others, what's your favourite? Um, I think my favourite song is The Confrontation. I just think it's beautifully written. I think it gives so much information in such an intelligent way. I think it's brilliant storytelling. It's my favourite. I think it's my favourite number in the show, yeah. yeah. And you've already bagged an incredible role, but if you were to be greedy, is there another <laughs> one out there that you would love to play? Honestly, I don't, I don't think I have like a dream role um, that I could think of on the spot, but um, yeah, just anything that'll have me. <laughs> but for now, because that will do just nicely. Yeah, just nicely. <laughs> Congratulations, Amara. Enjoy your Thanks evening. So much. Thank you. Best composer or lyricist award at the Stage Debut Awards. Come on, how do you feel? Um, I feel uh, amazing. It was very unexpected. I'm very overwhelmed. I haven't taken it in yet, but yeah, it's pretty like this is a nice, hefty, heavy thing to have in my hand. Tell us about the work that you've done and how it all started. Um, so this this is for Pieces of String, which is a show that I first started writing when I was doing an MA in musical theatre writing. And it was half an hour long and it was just my graduation show. Like just having a production, which is so difficult nowadays because they cost so much. And so just having it on was like, was amazing. So all of this extra stuff is like, ah, it's like, it's yeah, it's mental, it's wonderful. Music is so powerful, what it can do emotionally to you, and lyrics can say so much. Uh, when you put music and words together, like it achieves a sort of magic that doesn't happen anywhere else. That's why I love musical theatre, and I think it doesn't matter like what style it's in, the form is just, is just magical. Well, congratulations, Best Director. How does it feel? Feels amazing, absolutely incredible. Uh, it must be quite nerve-wracking being up against lots of different people, and were you assessing their work as well? It's terrifying. It's an incredible category and uh, all of the other nominees have done some incredible work. So, uh, I, yeah, I absolutely did not expect to win, but I feel very lucky to be in the same category as them. Why did you want to get involved in this industry to start with? I've just always loved storytelling from a very young age and um, I love I have a love of the theatre and um, I started making work at university. Um, directing plays and uh, taking them to festivals and making plays in in my room and my mates and um, I knew that it's what I wanted to do and I thought someone's got to do it so you might as well try. <laughs> it's going very well, congratulations, uh, enjoy your success. Thank you so much.